Hello everybody and welcome to uh, Zelda Speedruns tonight for a match of uh, Zelda 2 Randomizer Max Rando. Here in the booth I have uh, Victor Santa Fe and Duster W. I'll uh, pass it off to them here. Hey, good night everybody. So we have the fourth round of the Max Rando tournament and hope we get a nasty one. It looks pretty, pretty Easy at first sight, the players will start with the raft, the jump spell, one heart container, which could be pretty, pretty bad, but they will start with five laps and the upstop spell, uh, the, sorry, the upstop technique. So how are you doing tonight, Mr. Daster W? Long time no see. Indeed, I'm doing pretty well, aside from a sprained ankle, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Oh yeah, get well soon, man. So, what did I miss? They will start with the jump spell. That could be pretty useful for, for survivability in some of the encounters. And they have to place five gems. So, yeah, pretty straightforward seed. However, they have only one hard container, but they have five laps to try, so not that bad. And a ton of Saria for both our players. And Trails is picking up the spell that he already has. Let's see if yeah. he finds out before he does. I believe he will take the whole walk. That's unfortunate yeah. for him. Definitely key to pay attention to what spells you are, you've got, because uh, he's probably smacking his forehead right now. Yeah, especially when you're against a player like Boss Thunder. Those are the kind of mistakes you cannot make in, in this kind of race. I was picking up the flute. Yeah, and the flute could be required or not. And go is to find the glove for trails, a hint he gets from the channel of Raru. That is an important hint for sure. Yeah, both players find the hint and that hint could be trolley. For example, the, 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 the glove could be in the town of New Kasudo, and the the hammer could be required and the hammer could be hiding very deep inside the seat. So so that's a possibility for both our players. And but now they have the moment. up the fire spell. Buzz right behind him with Yeah, the fire spell costing 84, so so neither of the players can cast it at this moment. But in this category, the fire spell is combined with another spell, so so they are hoping for when it gets really cheap, they have like a thunder spell, machine gun. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that it's tied to jump just for the comedy factor. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of like the best replacement for jump always on seed. Trail struggling with that gorilla. Never a good encounter on the one heart container seed. Yeah, he decides to up an A and I don't blame him, yeah. You don't want to spend too much time in a stupid in a stupid in a stupid encounter. So, but Thunder getting inside the knight's house in the middle, getting his down sub technique. Trails taking the first level, getting life. Probably a good. He now has enough hit points to survive the uh, Guria's toenail. On And Ribbonak rides with the medicine. That's the hint that Boss Thunder gets. And he, uh, the, the Thunder, the Fairy, and the Reflect spell could be required. So that's why players are looking for spells at this moment. And items. So, so they, they will probably need the glove, the magic key, and who knows if the hammer or the boots are required. Yeah. 
So did Buzz get the hint about the glove? Yeah, both of them did. Alright, but he does find Trophy Cave. Let's see what we got here. Besides a painful oh, death in the lava. Yeah, our first toasty of the night. We're gonna get a lot of those, I hope. They're always fun. And a hard container, which makes this seed way faster. Well, certainly uh, twice as easy now. Okay, that's a lot. And Boss Thunder in Medicine Cave. So at this moment, players are exploring the, the five caves, the grass style, and the things that the towns and the palaces in this western side of the of, of the world. And yes, they have to beat most palaces. It doesn't hurt to do a, a very good exploration. And they hammer for trails in the grass style. So so this the scenario I was telling you about is pretty much dead. Well, there's always hope that it's uh, boots required. Yeah, the other thing that can happen is that the glove is in Magic Container Lady's house and they need the seven Magic Containers. That is always fun. And Trails deciding to hop into Death Mountain could be an interesting play. We'll see if that pays off for him. Yeah, he has the hammer and we see the, the spectacle rock inside. However, I will, it is not accessible from, from the side he, from the section he is in. And we see two caves, at least two caves lead to that rock. So yeah, that, that's something that, that players could be tempted to look for soon. Doesn't look that Probably bad. Probably deciding to wait for the boots, which would be a smart choice, because, uh, yeah, that Death Mountain didn't look all. Yeah, definitely. So, Trail's taking a peek at Palace 3 or 6, using it to refill his life. And to get some experience from this Iron Knuckle. Because as he only has one heart container, he's getting devastated by, by the seed. Yeah, only 50 points is very unworth in my opinion. And that's a lot of palaces. We see him popping into four. And either two or five. He did not check. Yeah, but boss did. Confirming it was... it's two. Yep. And Boss Thunder saying hi to Bagoo. Well, he could very well still be required. See if Trails checks that. Buzz finally getting his first level. seen both sides of jump cave so if the players need to to go to the other side that is not an option so the other pass-throughs we we could be using our parapa cave and the regular tile and of course being bagu required and and crossing the town of saria and there's also the chance that death mountain will be a pass-through so rare oh, but yeah. 
So yeah, Boss Thunder picking up his hammer. Trail's increasing his level lead. We'll see how that uh, comes into play here shortly, I'm sure. But he does find the ass end of uh, Death Mountain, so that will not be the up. Yeah, we've seen both sides, so that, that's not the way to to check out the rest of the continent. So yeah, it's either Parappa Cave or or the Fairy Cave. That leads to the other side, or it is quite—it is wide open. That's another possibility that, that we haven't seen. I'm personally hoping for uh, Saria being required to, or Bagu being required to get through. Yeah, that would be very interesting. We see a boulder-blocked cave here in the southeast of the continent. Guaranteed, I and... am boulder-blocked, and it's heart container cave. Trails on three, three, three in terms of levels. So as as Boss Thunder has two hard containers, he hasn't felt the need to 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 grow up his levels. However, Trails with only one hard container has been grinding quite a bit along the way. Buzz giving up on trying to brute force it through there and playing it. That's him a one up. We'll see what else. And a cross for Boss Thunder inside Heart Container Cave while Trails is entering Medicine Cave. And I forgot what item is here. Uh, it was the Heart Container, I believe. Or did Buzz Thunder just give up on getting through? That could be the case too. I don't remember. Wow, and a five hand though for trails that lets him survive and cross to the other side of the room. Must have given up on it because he's trying to go through again. Another heart container. So yeah, three heart containers at least guaranteed in this seed. So yeah, that, that makes this seed way more normal than what it was at the beginning. So yeah, I think the other heart container was in Trophy Cave, which Trails hasn't found yet. Uh, yeah, that is correct, I do recall. And Trails finding Parappa Cave. Or, yeah, I think this is Parappa Cave. There's... It is Parappa, you can tell by the fact that there's just the one enemy, which in this case is a Mew, and he has found me. Buzz Thunder not far behind him. Yeah, he's following the trails. Literally. The trails seeing a red Dyra just decides, ah, I'm going the other way. Smart. And Parappa Cave feels like it led to a very, very close spot of the continent and there's another cave there it could be the fairy cave let's we'll see and, and it is it. wow this is quite a pass through <laughs> this is a double pass through 
So what haven't we seen? We I believe we haven't seen Magic Container Cave. We haven't seen the raft out, probably. Apart from that, I believe we've seen everything. Oh, and there's not a raft seen out. The back end of Surya. Unless I'm wrong, in which case we have, and I just missed. And another boulder cave that leads to the magic container cave. And Trails decides against it. Wow. Okay, so that bridge will be a shortcut to the new area, so they won't have to go through both caves. Though it may be preferable to, because the bridge... Another heart. heart container. Wow. So I think at this point I have to give the survival advantage to Buzz, even though Trails has a higher life level. Those uh, extra containers really come in handy. Yeah, but, but he's that about to change. Let's hope he finds trophy caves soon. But, however, he knows the glove is not there, so unless something is required, like the boots, I don't think that will be a worry for him. And 16 minutes in, Buzz finally gets attacked too. Yeah, the way he got his levels was pretty unconventional. But yeah, survivability comes first, and he was prioritizing the exploration. And it kind of paid off. Trails has game over, I believe, at least two times. And, and yeah, it has hampered his, his exploration quite a bit. So, Boss Thunder in the Eastern Continent. And Trails following behind. And they're standing right on top of each other. tile that the players cannot access and that's another probability for the glove so yeah boots could be required for that glove still don't know and trails in lagland and <laughs> boss thunder too wow <laughs> players are really close to each other and the town of darunia for trails he has the abstab technique, and he doesn't have the kit, so no reason to enter besides from getting hints. And, and a nice Palace five. bubble gun, bubble gum colored uh, five. Yeah, that's a nice color. Trails diving in. <laughs> is that Guma? That is indeed wow. Guma. So let's see, three hard containers, no shield, no life, attack three. I don't know. Well, he's looking for a level though. And that's an attack level. That will make things easier. So yeah, I mean, Trails is going for it. Hey, so close to start. It's probably worth at least giving it a shot, seeing what you're up against. Thank you. 
That's a good start. However, I just jinxed him. And down he goes. Meanwhile, Boss Thunder in the town of Naburu. About to get a free spell out of there. And maybe some hints. We don't like to think that Link just picks up the water in his uh, sweaty gross all hat woman just drinks it like uh... and round three for trails this doesn't look that bad it... Guma is going down pretty fast however he can only be hit once the second hit will, will, will kill trails but yeah, the health of Guma is going down pretty fast. And go Bugs west picking to find up it. life from Naboo. So yeah, boss is is getting all the survivability here. Yeah, Trails is about to finish his battle with Guma, so yeah. And the magic key for Boss Thunder in the desert tile. River Devil on patrol. Did you check that seed we got in the randomizer? I believe it was in the, in the, in in Trails versus Rose City Saints match that River Devil was blocking three palaces in a four gem seed, <laughs> so the food was required. It was pretty funny. Unfortunately, I did miss that due to work. But we do have Buzz Thunder finding a pea bag cave. And a magic container for Boss Thunder. While Trails enters Naburu and decides to go for the live spell, too. End of note, the water tile is right near Nibiru, so we'll have to keep that up. Especially with the hint that the gloves in wet. Miser, you don't see people crossing bridge that often, but that's what Bass Thunder is being forced to do in this one. That's a very long river, he doesn't have the boots, so the only way to cross is this bridge, and he's getting trolled in it. Yeah, this bridge is a forfeit for me. I don't have the blood pressure to deal with. So, Boss Thunder entering the desert tile where you can pick up a pea bag or a one up. However, he didn't have the jam spell, but he now does. He didn't have the enough magic for it, and he grabs a pea bag. Uh, 500 that will help him to get more levels. Trails falling behind. And another level for Boss Thunder, so he now, he is now 334, while Trails is 445. So Trails is three levels ahead of Boss Thunder. Excellent encounter dodge there by... So we see that this Eastern Continent is very segmented. So the players will probably have to go through, through some of the caves and Trails finding out that, that he's kind of trapped by this river he just crossed. And 
a five hander for Boss Thunder, so it's raining levels for Boss Thunder. And Bo's and... about to get bad news that he's gonna need to just go right back across. Yeah, there's a cave in the western side of this section. However, I don't know what the players will, will, will do. And another thing to note is that Trails doesn't have the downstop technique. So, yeah, that is making survivability for him in this eastern continent way harder. And Trails going for the bridge. It looks like Buzz will be going for the cave after. Eastern continent is quite a maze. You don't see those that often. <laughs> we see a, a, a cave that that leads to a dead end if you don't have the boots. And boss thunder back in the western continent. This thing, it would be amazing if you needed boots to get to that cave, which was the only way to get to uh, me. And a heart container <laughs> for trails in, in the other Piva cave. So we now know that the glove is either in New Casudo or in the water tile. And obvious, I'm very much on the boots bandwagon, so I'm hoping for the water. Yeah, both things could be pretty trolly. You'd have to either look for the spell spell, look for the boots, or look for five, six, or seven magic containers. So, yeah, at this moment, everything is trolly. There's, there's no easy solution here. We see three eye rock. Palace three or six, whichever the other one isn't, with a also very pleasing. designer of this seed has pretty mild and pleasing tastes. Buzz taking another dip in the lob. Yeah, these encounters without fairy and without the candle are pretty, pretty hard. So now he knows he needs to get out of this forest as soon as he can. And he manages to do it. Uh, I believe Boss Thunder hasn't found the desert tile, which uh, was... He did, it had the magic key on it. Oh, you're absolutely right. And yeah, Trails did too. And Trails entering this Piva cave where he will find a magic container, I believe. Sounds correct, yeah. Buzz desperately looking for new Kasuda. Yeah, there's still a lot of probabilities here. And the players don't want to risk 
a gamble like going into that mountain or, or start digging palaces before they find out if New Casuto is accessible or not. So if we confirmed what fire is linked to, I know we've confirmed a couple things that is not linked. Yeah, I haven't been paying attention about that. I've seen trails use it, but I, I didn't pay attention what, what it cost. Boss Thunder in Old Casuto, picking up a free spell out of there. And that's the Thunder spell, which could be or could not be required, we don't know. That depends on the bird. And there's the entrance to the Valley of Death, which I believe has to have Palace 1 at this point, unless uh, it's Great Palace, in which case 1 will be on Maze. Yeah, that sounds correct. And Trails getting a refilling of his life in Palace 3 or 6. And there's Maze Islands. And Trails is turned for a dip in the lava. Yeah, these forest encounters suck. So in Maze Island you have two items and, and a palace. So Boss Thunder is hoping that that one of these two items is something like the boots that can help him progress. And one of them is a Pivak. Definitely not what he was hoping to see. So, any guesses on what the other item is? I'm gonna go with candle. <laughs> and as Trails doesn't have the cross, and Trinil Kasuto is quite hurtful, but he manages to survive while he gets his thunder spell. And Palace won in Maze Island. So there's nothing that could stop the players from doing Palace 1. They have the magic key, so, so key doors are not a worry. And glove is not required in Palace 1. So trails in Maze Island while Boss Thunder Looking for the second item here. So the players have explored quite a bit of Eastern Continent and we still haven't seen New Kasuto. So yeah, the boots probability is getting higher at each moment. Pretty sure it has to be reflect at this point. So hey Bisco, what have you missed? Well, the players started with the raft. They have to place five gems. Neither of them, well, Trails placed one in, in Palace 5. That was a pretty short palace. And the thing they are looking for is the glove. And we got a hint that the, blood, that, that the glove is in the Eastern continent. However, the remaining locations for the glove to be are the water tile and the town of New Kasuto. 
and we haven't found a ton of new Kasudo. So the, the probability of this being boot locked is getting pretty high. However, it could also be magic container blocked or spell, spell, spell blocked. So yeah, things are not looking great for our players at this moment. And neither of them has a, a certain lead besides from the gem that Trails placed. Hey, I'm having fun. Best username never. I love this game, man. And this is turning to be quite an interesting seed. So we have quite some options and... and most probably one of the players will have to take the long road and and the other will find the thing he needs at the right moment, so, so we'll see what happens. So, Boss Thunder entering Great Palace. I missed the item he picked up from the second location. If he did, I believe he did, but... Yeah, it was a magic thing. container. Oh, thank you, yeah. You're absolutely right. He has six now. So, if New Kasuto turns out to be a thing, he has more probabilities. However, Trails is going for the item too, so... Yeah, he will get that too, hopefully. And he does. So yeah, there's a magic container for trails. Now he will head to Palace 1 2, I guess. Because why not? Well, it does just make the most sense. It's an easy palace to clear, it's right there, means you never have to come back to Maze. And thanks, Justin Man, for confirming that fire is the shield spell. That's very useful. At this moment, yeah. Is it shield? I did not see the tune exchange cup. Then again, I am horribly unobservant. So yeah, this ruin palace one turning out to be quite a challenge. Bus Thunder being forced to use the Thunder spell to clear off the screen. That was a pretty messy room. Unfortunately, and I was distracted and missed it. But looks like he has to go back through it again. So. Yep, that's unfortunate. And everything is alive because those are enemies that respawn all the time. Hopefully from left to right it is not as bad as it was from right to left. And yeah, it turned out to be that way. So, Buzz Thunder getting close to the item room, and here it is. And it is a candle! Yeah. What we all wanted to see. Thunder kind of feeling that he's close to the boss so he needs some experience so he doesn't have to burn this gem and now he got enough because Horsehead the, 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 the lowest that Horsehead can give him I believe is like 20 points I'm, I'm not sure about that I do believe it is 20 he does give 50 in the vanilla game And 
Gen 70 for Boss Thunder and he decides against getting two levels. He will just get the higher one. Interesting choice. Well, seeing as it's his first gem, I kind of agree with that. Get that attack level. Make the rest a little bit easier. Yeah, it also saved him some time from the refilling of the point. Because he was kind of close to that level, so yeah, it took less for him to get out of the palace without burning the gem. And I mean, when uh, 500 P bags are on the drop table, you know, might have. That 1420 will be easy enough to get. Yeah, this, this seat has been pretty gentle in terms of survivability. Not at the beginning, but, but yeah, players have a lot of lives and, and that also lets them, lets them uh, get some levels along the way. And Trails was three levels ahead of Boss Thunder and now he's just one. So yeah, Boss Thunder has caught up quite a bit in terms of levels. Yeah, I would have to give the lead to Buzz at this point, given that uh, he's going to have a much easier time with Guma than Trails, in theory. Yeah, Trails died, I believe, three times to Guma. However, there were pretty short fights. But yeah, that's quite like 30 seconds, one minute at least. No, I, I believe quite some more, like two or three minutes, I'd say. Yeah, and when you're and playing at this level that these two guys are playing at, every minute is important. Yeah, definitely. And Boss Thunder finding what well, he was missing on the other side of the what we call the Dick Check Desert. And this is a pass-through cave in a town, and he's hoping the town is New Kasuto. And it should be. And it is. Indeed it is. And Horsehead waits, waits with the candle. And Magic Container Lady! There are five or six required. Yep. Not an issue for either player at this point. And a hard container for Boss Thunder, so he either needs the spell, 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 or the boots. What will it be? Could will the well spell, be spell, spell be here? Or will the spell, spell, spell be a spell item required? And the players will have to go for the trophy, medicine, or kid. We'll see, that's very interesting. And it is a spell spell, so yeah, that, that scenario of looking for spell items, just dive. So it's either here or boot blocked. So yeah, cross your fingers if you want to see this guy suffer longer. And it is the glove. So boots are not required. That's a shame. <laughs> yeah. And trails just behind Boss Thunder. So yeah, this will be a pretty close race. It will depend on the the ability of players of placing gems quite fast. And yeah, Trails lost some time to Guma, however, he has an extra extra gem placed, so. Yeah, very close race. We'll see what happens.
Okay, there, there's another thing that can hold up the players that I didn't think about. And that's the fairy spell. Still haven't found it. It could be required. We don't know. And while we're on that, there's also the uh, very off chance that upstab is required. Yeah, but they both have it because they started with, with that spell. However, Trail doesn't have the downstab technique. And downstab could be required in Great Palace. And there's a glove for Trail, so it's time to put the seed to rest. However, Players need to complete five palaces before entering Great Palace. Neither of the players have the Reflect spell, or maybe it is linked to Fire. But, uh, we're not 100% sure about it. That's definitely linked to either Shield or Reflect. Like I said, I didn't see the tunics change color, but I very well could have missed Yeah, we just saw Boss Thunder get very blocked in one room. And another room, he doesn't manage to, to get inside the whole of the fairy room. That's pretty, pretty tough to, to pull off. And meanwhile, Trails is picking up his downstep technique. So at this point, if I'm Buzz, I'm... Upping on out of six and uh, not worrying about it since there's only five gems. Yeah, this could help. this could cost him. Finding out if you're not very blocked in Palace six, six can can take quite some time because there are a lot of probabilities inside this palace. And if you are. In having to double dip it is pretty painful. And this is Canadian Hall, so he looped somehow. Trails is gonna start doing the palaces in the western continent. He chooses six too, so that that could also mean that the the, the bad things that are happening to Bust Thunder will happen to Trails too. So yeah, pretty even. Yep, he sees it six and nope's on out of there. Okay, forget what I said. But he does not it's have be a very reflect, good for so trail. is it worth it to go through six and get that done, or go look for the reflect spell so you can do four? So yeah, palace two for trails. There's nothing to worry about inside this palace besides its trolliness, but... Trails is not Rose City Saint, so he has nothing to worry about. Those bricks are making me want orange pez. Thunder keeps looping and looping and looping. At what point does he decide that he's most likely absolutely fairy? And does he even remember that it's only five gems? Yeah, that's something that can happen. Not remembering how many gems you have to place, especially when you have a high count of them. You very easily forget about that. 
kind of feel like you're playing a, a, a standard seed. And he's about to die. Will he? Nope. He wasn't on time. Those things hitting like a truck. Those doom knockers, even at my five, over a full heart of. So Boss Thunder is crossing his fingers and hoping that Barba is on the next room. Will that be the case? We'll see. So we know the location of the medicine in case the fairy spell is required. Very low probability of it, but in case it is required, we know Ribonek has the, the medicine, but we don't know about the location of the trophy or the kid. And Basander finding the item room, not what he wanted, but he's kind of hoping he finds either the medicine, sorry, the, the trophy or the kid here. And it is the kid. So yeah, this could be a thing. Seems to be lost in thought. Yeah, he knows he just lost a very big gamble here. I don't know if he was aware of the risks of what he did, but but we he... could possibly still have it see uh, uh, excuse me see it pay off. Very unlikely, as you've said, but. You know, there is that chance fairies required, and there we go. Yeah, miracles happen. And Trail's going for Palace 3. We know the medicine is in here. I don't... I don't think Trails knows. In any case, uh, maybe he will uh... go for it. After this, he'll be just one gem away. And I do notice Buzz did not continue west on that path to go through. To With all three palaces right there, I believe that would have been the logical choice. But I'm, uh, I'm not very good at this, so don't take my... So, for the newcomers, welcome to the Zelda 2 Randomizer Max Randa Tournament. We have a seed where the glove was in New Kasudo. And now we have a seed that could be very required, but we don't know. Boss Thunder is about to get a spell from Darunia. And Trails just picked up. Did he? Did, did Trails pick up the the medicine from? Yeah, I think yeah he did. So yeah, if the fairy spell is required, we'll see if Buzz Thunder was right, and he wasn't. It is a reflect spell which will allow him to get to the palace four, but that isn't required because this in this gem you only have to place five gems. However, either the reflect spell or the fairy spell are required because we know for a fact that palace 6 is fairy blocked and we know for a fact that palace 4 is reflect blocked. So yeah, you have to have either of those two spells. Buzz about to find how short five is. And there's Goomba. And this Goomba fight was pretty fast for trails. Well, he died quite some times, but I mean that Goomba's health was not the best in this occasion. So yeah, for Boss Thunder is even faster. And he will most probably achieve it on the first try, and he does. So 
so about yeah. his couple minutes he gained. But uh, I really think going into six was not a good call. Yeah, not at all. He lost quite. He lost at least five minutes inside that palace. <laughs> yeah, blame me, Shadow Magi. Oh, you uh, are the one that rolled it. Yep. Well, it, I believe it hasn't been painful so far this suit, but it hasn't been free either. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Anything can happen. Now, Bosandras, he has a reflex spell. He's doing Palace 4. And Palace 4, except from that when Duster W is playing, Palace 4 tends to be quite tame. So, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty sure I have a 100% uh, full clear rate of 4. <laughs> and it is a pretty quick 4. Okay, so so am I crazy or Trail Center Great Palace without he's gonna get electrocuted? Oh <laughs> Wow, I, I all Taking the time I to bang his head on the table. Yeah oh, man, I, I was waiting for this moment since the first time I commentated a seed a, a race. In the, in this game, man, it, it it was worth it. I gotta love when 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 people do that kind of mistake because I do them all the time. But, but yeah, it was great. Nice. Thank you, Trails. I I really loved it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say if uh, you enjoy those mistakes, just watch one of my streams. There's gonna be yeah. We are the experts. So Shadow Magi, GP can be anywhere. GP can be any of the palaces, and we knew it was GP because because of a process of elimination. But yeah, Trails has to do either Palace Four or Five. He doesn't have Reflect, and Fairy is required for Six. Knowing Trails, I think he will try Six, and that. It's that is good news for Boss Thunder. Well, he did just pick up Fairy from uh, Mito. Oh, did he? Wow. Okay, I take back what I say. Sorry. I wasn't checking the tracker. I'm pretty silly. So you see, that's the kind of mistakes we Duster and W and I do all the time. So. Yeah, this this could be close. There's there's something that if if there's a high probability of Boss Thunder picking up the the medicine from Palace Three, but that could cost him some time. Yeah, we'll see. There's a possibility of him entering Great Palace without Fairy. So yeah, yeah. That that's up to him. He could get blocked there. Not a big probability. Way bigger probability of Palace Six being very blocked, which is the case here. Yeah, and Buzz did see a real good chunk, so we know that Barba's pretty close after either of the fairy. Just which one is it is the question. Yeah, so both fairy blocked rooms are this one next to Canadian Hall where Trails is. 
this is one of them and the other if you drop in Canadian Hall there's the ferry hall that's the other one so yeah very close to each other the, the ferry blocks of Palace 6 in this case ferry hall and there's Barba So this is very much a tight race we have. A little bit of a beefy Barba, but at tax six, not that. off to GP. And let's hope... Well, I don't know what Boss Thunder will do about his fairy condition at this moment, but... And 6 mm, is there's... absolutely hard fairy block. It was the lava room right before Barba. away from finishing three should only be about what maybe two minutes behind entering GP maybe a little more yeah but as always the great palace is the great equalizer so still could go e thinking about the fact that uh, three's pretty decently close to the Great Palace, whereas Trails had quite a trek to get there. So... Yeah, this could still be close. If Ferry is in required, this could be really close. By which I mean three is right next to entrance of the Valley of... Yeah, however, trails can ferry fit, so that will save him some time here. And yes, Buzz does have upstab. Um, it was one of the techs you started with in this seat. So trails entering GP at 102.32. Yeah, probably a difference of like a minute, minute and a half, pretty close. If ferry isn't required, this will be quite a game. Another masterful encounter dodge by Buzz. So now boss has to get encounter skips and they have been trolling him so far so yeah that that's very good news for trails oh Troll man yeah that was nasty but uh, yeah he manages to get the first one let's see uh, what happens with the other two Okay, gets it on the first try.
and gets the third one on the second try. So it wasn't that bad, but he lost quite some time there. So he does enter just shy of two minutes after. Still anyone's race. Yeah, definitely. Great Palace is a great equalizer and anything can happen. So yeah, the difference between the players at this point is basically that Bass Thunder doesn't have the fairy spell and it could be required in two rooms in Great Palace. And I gotta agree with Trails, uh, ferrying to take a left at fairy. Then again, I always left at fairy, so, uh, shouldn't be any surprise. Yeah, Trails is probably feeling behind because of the two mistakes he did, the, the big mistakes he did. The first one, going into Saria, having the spell from there already, and the second one, entering... Crossing Valley of Dead and entering Great Palace without placing all the gems. So yeah, he definitely feels behind, although he isn't. So that's why he probably is taking the the the, the non-linear paths. Yeah, unfortunately, he does not know how much time Buzz lost in six. Or fortunately, depends on how you look at it. Yeah. Down and goes Thunderbird. And Thunderbird not required. So we have seen two of the dead end room. Yeah, we're only missing two more. One of them, the top of the L7 drop. And they have taken different paths, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, Boss Thunder is very good at, at tracking GP. He even draws a map of it. So if this telling. turns out to be a very confusing one, he could have an advantage in that sense, but we'll see. Yeah, I've been and telling him to keep his maps and all up, buy him off of... I'm yet to receive one. Trails in the trails room and yeah. another dead end. So we know one of the drops will leave him there. Leading me to believe that Buzz is on the uh, correct path. Yeah, looks way more promising. Not a friendly waffle room that Buzz is in, but at least it's easy to get. Yeah, this is I'll the kind of room where you need to have the jump spell. But since that's not the case, I guess that's a moot point. So, if Boss Thunder finds a drop could be leading to the trails room. Oh, see that. oh wow. Wow, GG, man. Kind of believe it. I was very fortunate on, on his side. And that, folks, is why we call it the great equalizer. Yeah, definitely. He's out for Buzz Thunder. And just a side note, I still absolutely hate how the uh, color palette of the palace reverts to vanilla after you kill Dark. There, now none of you can unsee it either. <laughs> yeah. So I believe... Yeah, th the thing that 
ultimately defined this race was the fact that when Trails entered Great Palace, he felt he was behind. That was the thing that decided this race. That's pretty amazing and shows how, yeah, how luck based this game is. Yeah, I think it's uh, choosing between the left at Fairy or the uh, room just above Fairy that made the difference. Were, were both of those leading to the left side? But they were. Okay, so yeah, I take back what I said. Yeah, we, we'll find out here. Yeah, the three rooms were leading to the left side. So yeah, yeah, I take back what I said. It was a 50-50 choice then. So we will be joined by Buzz here momentarily. Yep, nub action from Buzz Thunder here. Yeah, I haven't seen the original Star Wars film films. Uh, I I did see the the remakes. The the thing is that that George Lucas did. And they were entertaining, but, but yeah, I haven't been able to find the, the originals. And yeah, for example, taking out this song, why? Why did you take something so emblematic out of a movie? Well, I will say, if you haven't seen the originals, uh, get Disney Plus, not a spot. Oh. So yeah, I believe Trails is one room away from Dark Link. Showing us this one was pretty close. Welcome, GG. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. So, what are your your suspicions on, on what got you this race? Did you feel behind? I, 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 I kind of believe both of you felt behind when you entered Great Palace, but um, I want to hear it from you. Um, I, I couldn't really... I couldn't really tell. I, I mean, I felt a little bit behind just because I had kind of a slow start. There was like no experience at all, but there was like all these pee bags that started dropping later on. But in the beginning, I just wasn't killing anything. So I thought I was going to be slower based on levels. Um, but if I got lucky on um, the, the path that, um, you know, getting out of six, not getting the fairy spell. All those palaces were, you know, really quick. So I didn't know if that would have helped me instead of uh, digging around for fairy and completing six or not. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I figured it was close. So, yeah, you entered Great Palace two minutes after Trails. Ah, two minutes behind. Uh, yeah, he took the, the left at the fairy room and that, that cost him the race. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he would do that, but uh, <laughs> that's a thing to do. I mean, again, if you feel behind, it's like, yeah, take your left turns. Uh, there was a bunch to choose from. Um, like, going in there, it basically forced you into three different left turns. Yeah, the fairy was the first one, and then there was the, the dead end and the other one that ultimately led to Dark Link. So, yeah, there was probably a whole bunch of Great Palace um, left at Fairy Room, I would guess. Yeah, yeah I, uh, there was. I I fought Thunderbird. <laughs> oh yeah, 
There wasn't too much over there. There was a couple dead ends. I up and aid, and then I started going up the elevators at the beginning. But I don't know. That it sounds like the left of ferry kind of cost me the race. Indeed. Welcome, GG. Hey, thank you, man. I knew Boss Thunder was gonna beat me, man. <laughs> broad guy team. Broad. Broad guy eat broad. That's right. I'm the captain, so I got to, uh, you know, I have to assert my dominance, I guess. I have to get people to respect me somehow. Well, it was <laughs> very close through the whole entire thing. Yeah, when you dove into six buzz, I was questioning how much time that was going to cost you, but uh, I guess it didn't matter too. I tried to enter um, GP after only placing four gems. I thought it was a four <laughs> gem seed for some reason. Yeah, we uh, all got quite a bit of amusement from that. <laughs> but even then, it was incredibly close. Yeah, a lot of things happened in this, in this race. The whole time, there was something that could happen about having something required in the seat. So uh, when you both guys got the glove, you, you got it like... 10 seconds away from each other the, the glove but at that point the glove was either boot blocked or spell 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 blocked and that spell 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 needed one of the three uh, spell items so yeah this, this game was very interesting in that sense that all the time uh, it led you guys to to make decisions and and things like that and yes yeah, i told boss thunder Trail Center, Great Palace, two minutes before Boss Thunder. Boss Thunder spent quite some time in Palace 6, uh, finding out if it was ferry blocked or not. And and Trails, it, it was pretty close if, if you had ferry. Uh, sorry, it was pretty short if you had the ferry spell. So yeah, a lot of things happened in this one. Trail centered Great Palace without placing his jams. He tried to get the spell from Saria. So yeah, that cost him quite some time. So yeah, a lot of things happened in this one. Very interesting race. Good race, guys. Yeah, it cost me a minute. I thought that um, the first spell we had was in the Rudo slot. So I went into Saria thinking I was going to get a spell. And then the guy told me to go away. <laughs> and um, what you call it? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I had a really rough beginning. I don't know how Buzz's was, but um, the the beginning of the seed for me was was pretty rough. I, it was different I it because Buzz found a hard container in Trophy Cave, which you which you didn't explore. He found it pretty early, and that turned out uh, the, into you guys getting very different strategies. So Trails was killing a lot of guys along the way, and he got quite some levels at the beginning, while Boss Thunder was focusing on exploring a lot more. So he he got attacked too way la later in the game. He was like playing in pacifist mode, something like that. So he had very different approaches because Trails didn't find that hard early, and Boss Thunder was surviving way easier so yeah it, it was I different. Also, i didn't get downstab until 40 something minutes into the seed because i couldn't find um i couldn't find um mito so i went like the majority of the seed without downstab so that was that was a thing as well yeah buzz found it pretty early and i do believe it paid off quite a bit for him with uh, well, the low levels Oh yeah, I mean, you could bounce over enemies. I had to cast jump and neutral over Yeah, he had th three advantages. He had one more hard container, he had the downstaff technique, and he had the cross, which in the in the Eastern Continent made some difference. So so yeah, he, he was way better e e equipped in terms of survivability. Yeah, it's all good. We're both in the brackets anyway. Like, I don't really care. This is just kind of a... I, I think this was a race to get a buy in, like, the first week or something. Um, You know, I mean, it's it was kind of just like a, a race. I don't know. I guess Buzz has a, a better shot or he automatically has a buy. I think this might have been actually the race for the buy. So, Buzz, you might have a buy in the first round of the brackets. Is it? Because we... We have five rounds, so if Boss Thunder loses, it, it kind of evens things out. I, I don't know. I'm not sure about the 
The way well, there's no more four and O's. So who would he raise? I'll raise you again. I'll race you any day of the week, brother. I love racing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess if if uh, the it, it's random, if if there if there's someone, oh yeah, but you could be right. Yeah, it, it could be the buy for him if he because we are not even. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what when this finish with when this week finish. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's how it goes because um. That's what happened with Rose City Saint in the last tournament. I think he got a buy when he he was undefeated in the Swiss rounds, and he got a buy. And I'm probably gonna get a buy for next week because I don't think that there's anybody. There might be one guy that's um, that's three and one. No, there isn't. I'm the only three and one. It will there be? There might be a guy. Anyway, the, that race is not gonna matter either. And if I do have to race again, I mean that just means more racing for me. So, um, I'm cool with that. And on a random side note, I would probably just now be placing my first. <laughs> well, at least Larry is still in Northern Palace, so. Uh, yeah, that guy's he's been there for a while, apparently. Yeah, as long as I've been playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I'll probably uh, take a look at this race if it was as good as you guys say but uh yeah good race trails uh thanks for doing the comms guys and uh i'm out of here have a good one later on man broad guy team man broad guy team you know it <laughs> yeah guys thanks a lot for doing the commentary it must have been a pretty exciting race i must have been there must have been some laughs too with me doing all those mistakes but whatever um i knew like buzz Buzz is one of those guys that like uh, you can't really make any mistakes with because he'll he'll come from behind and he's one of those guys he loves coming from behind so um and he's good at it he's really good at coming from behind so um he's one of those guys you can't make one mistake um uh, because he's that good you know what I mean and I knew when I when I went up to the barrier at GP and it didn't go up I was like oh man dude I already lost this race and at that point I was kind of like on tilt kind of yeah I, I guess you felt behind when you entered GP but I I, I thought you you took the the left at ferry room because you felt behind but but yeah it, it was kind of forced uh, a forced choice between two rooms that led to a left so so yeah it, it was pretty luck based this this great palace yeah i mean a lot of the time um fair, left it ferries the way so i just kind of went the meme route um and whatever i mean it happens i found it i explored a lot of it i feel like that buzz probably just walked right to gp or right to dark link there was that one elevator going up to the paperclip room that Turned out to be a dead ender. Wait a minute. It was a uh, one piece chicken room with a one up on the left hand side. So he, he um, I mean, he had a very direct path to Dark Link. So, um, I mean, had I gone up, I would have probably uh, won the race. But, you know, whatever. That's randomizer. Yeah, um, yeah. If I decide to go left and he decides to go right, well, right might be the right way. So, I mean, so I'm not really. Uh, really um salty or anything about it it was a great race and i love good races i'm glad that i was able to put on a good show for you guys and have it be close um and thanks again guys for everything stepping in such short notice um i didn't ping anybody until 7 p.m tonight so you guys really jumped in and helped out a lot so thanks for that no yeah, man it was a it. pleasure yep and you know <laughs> Don't be hard on yourself. You put up a hell of a performance. It was, like you said, just blind. Yeah, stuff happens sometimes, man. I'm not. I'm never hard on myself about this. I mean, I'm not saying Buzz Thunder's not skilled. Like he's definitely a skilled runner. It's just, um, I made a poor decision, and uh, his routing worked out better. But, um. There is some luck involved with the randomizer. Like I said, if I go up and he goes down and down happens to be the right way, then 
you know, he can win the race just because of that. And I made enough mistakes during this, uh, during this race that I feel like, uh, I don't know. He, he, he race, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, no doubt about that. I definitely, uh, I don't know. And, um, he, he's beat me a bunch of times, man. He, um, I think I might have put him out of the the tournament just before this, but he put me out a couple tournaments ago. Him and Amazing Toaster, so him, Jay Cooper, and Amazing Toaster it was like the one, two, three knockout um, in the uh, yeah, bracket yeah. rounds. But um, you know, you can't count anybody out, man. You know, everybody everybody is a um, is a threat. You know, so but Buzz Thunder's got out. He's been one of the people that have played it since the beginning so he's got a lot of skill he's got that and he's got a lot more experience than I, I do I've been playing for the past three years straight though like almost every single day yeah we've seen you've done that so so yeah very well yeah, deserved so anyway you, uh, if, join that the you do very well in tournaments what are you saying Buzz uh, I'm sorry what did you say Duster sorry you were cutting out a Saying I do remember when you joined the community and you know you uh, exceeded me in skill very quickly. Of course, that's not. Safe. Well, I'm still looking for a race, man, and I'll race anybody at any time. Offers always on the table. Just uh, the racing portion of our community has kind of withered away, and nobody really likes to race anymore. But we don't really have a that our community really isn't extravagant. So I don't know what's going on with it, man. I hope it doesn't die off, but I'm always there looking for a race. If anybody's ever looking for a race, ping me. Nine times out of ten, I can do it if I'm not at work. But, um, and I used to race three, four times a day for, like, almost a whole year straight. Every single day, I would ping everybody in the Discord and we'd be racing. And then all of a sudden, just people stopped wanting to race. Yeah, that yeah, happens, just... especially when when you're in in the middle of tournaments and things like that. But but yeah, we'll try to raise more. <laughs> we need more of this game, and, and we'll, we're also trying to get new people in. <laughs> so yeah, yeah absolutely. We're stopping in, in, into the vanilla players' <laughs> the streams, try to convince them somehow. <laughs> and just a reminder that we do have the weekly race tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. I will be there. Yeah, I guess I, I will guess I... too. So yeah, the yes, weekly yeah, is yeah, always yeah. good. Always good to tune into, and um, I'll post a link in case anybody wants to download the randomizer. Um, there's so all sorts of settings and stuff. You can tweak it to where, you know, everything drops one ups. You start with down stab. You can really nerf this thing to where it's basically free, so you can learn on really easy settings like the beginner settings and stuff like that and like it's really easy it's user friendly um and there's all sorts of like knobs and flags you can you can switch that allow you to make it really really simple if you'd like it to we just like to play on the harder settings because we're we're used to playing it and as a heads up that matt that uh, weekly tomorrow is going to be restreamed but it will be on zsr underscore three this week Okay, so yeah, see you then uh, to all our audience. Hope you see the weekly race. And I want to thank my partner Dasser W and our tracker Jinxie Girl and our restreamer Shadow Maggi for making this possible. It was a very exciting race. And yeah, hope to see you on tomorrow's weekly and on the next races of the Max Randa tournament. Yep, thank you everyone. Thank you, viewers, for tuning in, and especially thanks to our racers putting on a hell of a show. Yeah, thank you guys for everything as well. Um, see you guys uh, next round. See you then. Good night. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us, and hopefully see you all around. Good night. <laughs>